guys, welcome back to another scooter video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your scooter deck lighter. So the only tools you're going to need for this is a drill, and then a ruler, a right angle, a marker, and some kind of punch. You can also use a nail, a couple drill bits, and maybe some files to clean up the holes once they're done, and then of course your scooter deck. All right, now that you have all the tools that you need, what you want to do first is you want to grab your scooter deck and your right angle and then your ruler. You want to place the ruler on the scooter deck, place it where you want it, and then I like to tape it down just to make sure it doesn't move. But I'm going to start my marks at an inch and a half away from the back brake and then also go no further than an inch and a half from the welds. So the first thing I like to do is use my right angle put it on the side of the deck and start making our marks where I want the holes. I've already made all my marks on the deck. I've found the center line and then the two outside center lines. I've marked them off. And if you can see the black permanent marker, maybe right there, there and there. I've already got my lines and everything I want centered. So the next thing you wanna do is use your punch to tap a hole so the drill bits don't move. So I'll do that right now. All right, now that we've got our marks, we're going to start tapping the holes. So I got about close to like 30 holes, so I'm gonna start tapping them. Alright, now that we've punched all the holes that we need to punch, I'm going to weigh it to make sure I know what the beginning weight is and then we'll see how much weight is lost after we drill the holes out. So I'll put in a picture right now of the weight of the deck. Alright, now that we know the original weight of the deck, we can start drilling our holes in it to see how much weight we can lose off of the deck. So let's go ahead and grab our drill bit and we'll start drilling our first holes also before you start drilling your holes you want to make sure that you're not going to hit any structural part of the deck so right here and here and then also on the outsides of the deck you want to make sure that you're not drilling holes anywhere that will hit one of these beams or else it could potentially ruin your deck or cause it to banana or cave in early so make sure you have your holes centered where there's no structural beams you probably can see from the front a little better so the holes are going to be just on the outside and then directly in the center just on the weight that isn't being used so none of this metal is structural it's all just there for your foot to stand on so just want to make sure that you knew that we'll go ahead and carry on with drilling our bigger size all the way up to a half inch Alright, that was the last hole. That took quite a while to do, and that's a lot of holes to drill. So, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna work our way up in sizes all the way up until we get to. I'm going to go up to a half inch, so I only want my holes to be a half inch at the most. So, now that we have the first hole, hole drilled, we're going to move up in size.
right, I've just finished drilling all the holes in the deck. It's looking pretty good. Everything looks even and smooth. So now I'm just going to take a file, one of these, and let's see if I can get my round file real quick. So I'll take the round file and just file away any of the rough edges. And then I'll grip tape it and then it'll be done. have the holes filed down and it looks very good everything's even now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper and file off the tops of these holes so when you go to grip tape it grip tape doesn't get stuck on little burrs like that you don't want it to you want to have an even stick to the deck so we'll go ahead and sandpaper it now Right now I'm just feeling the deck to make sure there's no rough edges. Once you feel that it's good and smooth, you can go ahead and grip tape your scooter. It's feeling good, so I think I'm ready to move on. All right, now that we have the holes drilled in the deck, let's see how much it weighs. Looks like it's coming in right around 2.78 pounds, so we lost about, about a tenth of a pound, so that's not too bad. And if you wanted to lose more weight, you could definitely cut through this bottom part of the deck just to save yourself a little bit more weight. But just make sure to stay away from the grind rails and support beams right here. You don't want to lose any structure to the deck. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned how to drill holes in your scooter deck. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think about this tutorial and my other tutorials, how to cut down a scooter deck and also how to cut down bars. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.